Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. So my daughter, who is quickly turning five, has been asking me to make her noodle soup for lunch or dinner quite frequently. But on days when I don't have the time to make her broth for noodle soup, but still want to make her happy, I've been opting for stir-fried noodles, specifically stir-fried udon noodles or yaki udon. And if you know my daughter, you know she loves her shrimp, so I typically use that as a protein source but you can substitute it with chicken, pork, or beef. You can also make it vegan or vegetarian by substituting with tofu or omitting the meat altogether. So let's not waste any time and I'll show you guys how to make this one dish meal in less than 30 minutes. Let's make some shrimp yaki udon. For this recipe, you will need three servings of udon noodles. I like to use frozen ones, for which I will thaw by soaking in hot water. You can loosen up the noodles with chopsticks or tongs within minutes of soaking. Then pour the water out and set the noodles aside. You will also need 3 cloves of garlic, minced, 1 medium onion, sliced, about 200 grams of sliced green cabbage, 5 shiitake mushrooms sliced as well, and my daughter's favorite shrimp. Peel, to vein, and season with some salt and pepper. For the sauce, combine 1 tablespoon of light soy sauce with 1 tablespoon dark soy sauce, 1 tablespoon mirin, 4 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, and 1 teaspoon of sesame oil. Mix until blended, then set aside. Now that all the prep work is done, let's heat up 1 tablespoon of oil on a pan to cook the shrimp. Once the oil is heated, add the shrimp, cooking each side for about a minute or until both sides are pink. Immediately set the cooked shrimp aside to avoid them from overcooking. Now in my nonstick wok, I'm going to heat up some more neutral oil, then stir fry the garlic and onion for about a minute. Then we're going to add the cabbage and mushrooms and cook for another 3 minutes or until the veggies are cooked to your liking. Yaki udon is extremely versatile. You can add practically any protein or vegetables you'd like. Once the veggies are cooked enough, add the thawed udon noodles. Quickly follow the udon noodles with the sauce, then stir everything together until evenly coated. And to avoid any leftover sauce on this bowl, I'm just going to wipe them off with the udon. I'm loving how the color of the noodles turned out. Now add your cooked shrimp, then mix everything up again. Optionally, you may top the udon noodles off with some chopped scallions for more color. Give it a quick mix, then we're ready to plate. And just how easy was that? Most of the time that was spent on this dish was on preparation. But once that's all done, cooking literally took just 10 minutes. And with that, dinner is served. Although this wasn't noodle soup, my daughter cleaned up her plate. Hopefully, your family will enjoy this dish as well. And if they did, leave me a comment below, give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.